from here. Let's go. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 is here, and it's better than any of its predecessors. After playing multiplayer and single player for a little over 5 hours, it's obvious that Infinity Ward and Activision have created a game for its fans. The single player campaign is explosive and gripping, and the multiplayer is as addictive as ever. I'm already hooked. Like many fans who waited out in the cold at midnight to pick up their copy, most of my time with Modern Warfare 3 has been spent leveling up in multiplayer. Like its predecessors, Modern Warfare 3 sucks players in by awarding them for every kill, assist, and objective that they score in the game. Players are treated to a constant stream of unlockable weapons, perks, killstreaks, emblems, and titles as they level up. Fans will immediately notice how similar the game is to Modern Warfare 2. The same graphical style and smooth gunplay ensure that fans will feel right at home when they fire up Modern Warfare 3. Also, quick scoping, a technique where players aim and fire quickly with sniper rifles, is back. All of the game modes featured in previous Call of Duty games are back with an awesome addition, Kill Confirmed. In Kill Confirmed, players must collect the dog tags of fallen enemies after they score a kill. In order to collect these dog tags, players must walk over their victim's dead body. This forces players to work together as a team in order to score points. It's also a welcome distraction from standard games of team deathmatch. The single player campaign also draws players in. Modern Warfare 3 picks up where the second installment left off. World War 3 has begun and Soap McTavish and Captain Price are on a hunt to kill the war's instigator, Vladimir Makarov. While I've only played a few missions, the story is already ramping up. I see flaws in the single player campaign, however. Enemies still spawn at an almost endless rate until the player reaches a predetermined point, and the gameplay is still a constant wash, rinse, and repeat of shooting, throwing grenades, and moving up in a linear path. However, the adrenaline-inducing set pieces and furious pace make these issues minor. On the multiplayer side, Activision has been showing off Call of Duty Elite in the months before launch. This dynamic community and social media network for Call of Duty players is promised to be a game changer. I bought the hardened edition of Modern Warfare 3 so that I would receive a premium membership at a discount. Thus far, I have not been able to create an account with this service due to what seems like server issues and errors. Aside from the campaign issues and my inability to create an Elite account, Modern Warfare 3 seems like it will live up to its hype. While I have not played long enough to give it a rating, I feel as though it's the best Call of Duty yet. Be sure to check back for a full review next Tuesday. For the Daily Titan, this is Anders Helm.